you like to cook? I used to cook. Do you remember what you like to cook? Hopia, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, do you remember making hopia? Remember you used to... I used to make mm -hmm. it, but now I, I never cook anymore. Do you remember selling it? Yeah, but it's when I was young. You used to make it all the time. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, I'm... Seven days a week. <laughs> I'm a single mom. Yeah. You made it for a yeah. lot of people, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a sweet pastry with mung beans in it, and uh, then it's just dough with some egg yolk um, on top, and then baked, and uh, they're just little small pastries. So that was her favorite, and I started cooking it actually recently, so to kind of bring the tradition into the family. I had to improvise on the recipe actually, because she didn't write it down. I didn't cook anymore. <laughs> no, you don't cook anymore, so yeah, I had to improvise. But she liked it, I, it got her approval, and that's all that mattered, so. And she remembers it when she's eating it, but she doesn't remember making it. My mom's baking the hopia was really um, part of my childhood memory because it was something that she did every single week. She would bake this Filipino pastry. And at first it was just for the family and then families really loved it, started ordering from her. So she would make it every weekend and I would watch her, help her. There's a lot of like physical labor involved. You gotta roll the dough. And it was literally all the family wanted it. And so she started selling it. And it got so popular that the Filipino stores uh, got wind of this amazing hopia that my mom makes. And so I would take it on the bus, deliver it to the Filipino store, and then do that every week for her. And um, so it just became like a family member. It was important to me to bring that into my kids' life as well, because they remembered. I was actually afraid, I'd been avoiding making it, and it was actually painful for me to go through the motion of making it because it brought me back to how she used to do it. But I, I actually felt it release some pain. And then I just decided to continue the um, continue doing that for for the girls, and it's become kind of part of the family tradition. Yeah, it's become a tradition.